Hey, how's it going? Mini Gamer here. Me being an awesome gamer is not really the point of this video. For a pretty long time, I wanted to talk about the future of Roblox. This is a very interesting topic to me, and I figured you guys would be interested in it as well. I'm, I'm recording this commentary live. Oh, oh my god. Okay, you could probably tell I'm recording this commentary live. I give up. I, I, I just I just give up. I, I gotta go all the way down. I'll see you later. There has been a lot of discussion going on about the future of Roblox, and I think it's a very commonly reoccurring topic in general, simply because Roblox likes to implement really big changes that some people are not really fans of. Speaking of which, look at this person in front of me. That's, you know, one of the things I'm talking about. People didn't like when Roblox decided to change their avatars for the first time. People didn't quite like when Roblox decided to change their avatars for the second time. Generally speaking, it's very difficult to implement and change to something, especially if it's a big change, and then expect that everybody would be just okay with it. And Roblox is no exception. You might have seen a lot of discussion about the new Roblox avatars, especially. Oh, faces and and uh, finger things. I can't even call it fingers. Look, look at my beautiful hands. This is fingers, all right? If they showed me in their tech demo, people would be more happy. Looking from both the creator and player uh, perspective, it's pretty interesting the direction Roblox is heading. You might be familiar with the term metaverse, and honestly, it's mostly a buzzword because it does not particularly mean anything. The implication of metaverse is that it's going to be the alternative reality. But we kind of know that it's not really going to happen even in the next 10 years because the current alternative reality looks like something like this. Hey, hey Apple. Hey, hey Apple. Hey Apple. Hey, Apple. Hey, Apple. <laughs> and I think the first thought that appears in your head whenever you think of Metaverse and Roblox is um, why? And the reason for that is pretty simple money. Or at least that's how I see it. Is Metaverse a bad thing? We will not know until it really happens. It's just another way of monetizing the content. Roblox makes a lot of money based off subscriptions, based off uh, people buying Robux and a bunch of other stuff. And another way that Roblox makes a lot of money is brand integrations. Think of the Gucci game. How about the Vance World and the LG Gram Hustle City Place? This one is actually pretty interesting because as far as I know, unlike Nike, Gucci, uh, Vance and a bunch of other brands, I don't think LG was working directly with Roblox. They actually just reached out to me and wanted to do a bunch of stuff together, which is really awesome of them. It was their first attempt to make a Roblox game. It had some glitches, but the glitches made the whole thing so much more enjoyable. And the best part, they provided a free laptop to give away in real life. If you still haven't entered the giveaway, make sure to click the link down in the description. One thing that you may have noticed while watching this video, I have an access to a Roblox voice chat. And I have a stro- oh. <laughs> And I have a strong feeling that the reason why Roblox is adding voice chat uh, to the game so they can test out the feature before they enter the VR era of Roblox. I know, I know, it may sound crazy, but I have a strong feeling, especially with the whole metaverse thing, this is exactly what Roblox is heading towards to. And there's many reasons why I'm so confident, and it's not even to do with Roblox, uh, you know, going out their way and taking the risk. It's also other companies. If you didn't know, some companies are spending millions of dollars in investments in a lot of different games just to make the whole experience possible. VRChat comes to mind, for example. I don't know the actual device uses and demographics of Roblox, but if I had to really guess, most of them are kids and they're playing on their mobile phones, tablets, and, uh, you know, home devices. And absolutely not the VR. However, as crazy as it may sound, who said that it would be impossible in the future to use our mobile phones as the VR devices? And I'm not talking on the level of HTC Vive or Valve Index, but just in general, kind of like a uh, Google Cardboard. Remember those? Maybe you even have one. So what are the odds this is the direction that Roblox is heading? You know, mobile devices, voice chat, and virtual reality. I'm really curious what do you guys think. This is probably my speculation, especially considering I follow the game industry for a pretty long time. May not be talking about it much, but I know a lot. And I figured it'd be pretty funny to make a video like this just so I can look back at it like five, maybe 10 years from now and see how wrong or right was I. This is not the usual type of videos I make, but if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. By the way, I started streaming on Twitch again. The link is gonna be down below. I would love to see you around and talk more about topics like this. And I see you guys next time.